I'm Maham and I crochet cute things. It's been a few months since I graduated from university and around three years since I was in high school, but I made sure to include projects that I could see myself using throughout the academic year and projects that I did end up using during university. Crocheting things for school or university is also a really cool way of starting conversations and sharing your hobby with other people. For example, someone goes, oh, that's a really cute pencil case and you get to say, oh, thanks, I made it. But bragging rights aside, I encourage you to keep crocheting throughout the academic year and making some cute things for yourself. Treat this hobby as a creative outlet, as a way to relax. When you're really stressed out, pick a project that has some basic stitches and some repetitive patterns that you can just crochet along to while watching a comfort movie or TV show. Or when you're bored and you want to challenge yourself, you don't have anything else to do, but you don't want to doom scroll on TikTok or Instagram, you can pick a challenging project for yourself, pick up a new technique like pixel grids, or learn how to cable stitch with crochet. Or make a sweater with single crochets if you're feeling up to it. Crochet was quite literally the only thing that kept me sane during my university years and I loved having a hobby that I could make things with. So for example, you can make yourself an emotional support plushie for exam season, crochet some room decor to make your study space look a little bit cuter so that you actually want to study there. But whatever project you choose, I hope you love it and I'm so happy that you're here crocheting with me. I've got my list here and I've divided it into five sections. We've got some cases, some pouches, bags, sleeves, and my personal personal favorite, some decorative accessories. So let's get started with the basics and we have some cases to store your stationery or any other craft supplies. Now these are the very first pencil cases that I made during my second year of university and I gifted them to all of my friends. They're so cute and I definitely use them a lot. At the time I didn't have any buttons or clasps or titch buttons so that's what makes these cases really special. So if you don't have any one of the supplies then you don't need them because you can very easily open and close the pencil cases by just sliding the flap onto the heart or the strawberry. The next two cases are also really similar. The one with the bow and ruffles is so ballet core. I love it. It's so dainty and cute. And then the other one, I don't know if it's obvious, but it's inspired by Taylor Swift's Folklore. I was so upset when I couldn't get my hands on the Folklore cardigan. It just sells out way too fast. And I'm not bothered enough, or a better way to say it is that I'm way too lazy to crochet a whole cardigan. So instead, I just made a cute small little pencil case to make myself feel better. It's also really cute for if you're looking for something that says you're Swift or lets other people who are Swifties themselves recognize you as a Swifty. So this pencil case is really cute for that and you can of course customize it for other artists as well. Before we get into the rest of this video, if you're a crafter, small business owner, or anyone who wants to create their dream website from scratch without any coding experience, I'm so excited to talk to you about today's sponsor, which is Universe. Universe is a drag and drop app for creating websites where you can hyper customize your site to match your creative vision. You can start with a blank canvas or pick from one of the many Universe templates, including mine. You can then make any kind of site with Universe from a simple link list for your link and bio to a full online shop to sell digital or physical products or an online portfolio or blog. Here's a look at my universe site. I love the creative freedom I have with the drag and drop feature and all the fun customizations I can make from adding doodles to adding shapes to completely customizing the font to my liking. The best part is that you can use universe on your iPhone, iPad, or computer. I love using universe on my phone for some on-the-go edits because I'm always changing one link to another, but then I'm also the kind of person who likes working on a much larger screen, so I love that we can use universe on the computer as well. If you're in the US, the universe cell block will enable you to start selling your creations and start making money in minutes. You can also use the download block to sell digital items. Although the sell and download blocks are US only, the PayPal block can be used by everyone to accept payments. Universe is free, but you can make the jump to Pro to remove Universe branding, get access to the code block, and unlock additional customization options. You can use the first link in my description to get 25% off your first year of Universe Pro, or use the second link to try Universe for free. I hope you have as much fun creating your dream website as I did, and don't forget to leave a link to your Universe site in the comments. Now, if you hate the look of these cases, because they are vertically shaped, vertically shaped and if you're looking for something that's a little bit more horizontally shaped I don't know if this makes any sense I have some good news you can still make these cases because if you love the checkers design if you love the love letter design but you just don't like the shape of it or the fact that it's standing up then you can very easily customize it to whatever shape or size you want I think that's my favorite part about making tutorials for you guys I really want you to be able to customize the project and make it completely to your liking let's say that you like the curve that the love letter case has but you kind of want to add that to the folklore case or you want to add the ruffles to the folklore case you can always mix and match and follow the tutorials because they always show you how to customize and make your own personalizations if you're looking for something more character inspired there's these low sew pencil cases that are perfect if you're a sanrio fan 
But if you're looking for something plainer that's still very cute, then there's this wallet that I think you can customize to any size you want. So if you just make it bigger, it can be a pencil case to store your stationery. So I haven't tried the tutorial myself, but I think you can learn the stitch that she's using and then of course make a bigger piece yourself. Then similarly, there's this cute project. It's a little bow pouch, but then once again, I think you can customize it and make it bigger. So it's made out of a very basic stitch and a few different panels. If you just make the panels bigger, then you'll be able to make the case to your liking. And it also has some compartments to store different things in it. But if you're looking for something that's plainer but also has a very interesting texture, then there's the viral bobble stitch pouch. But I'd recommend having a zipper for it because it's really hard to make a closure for these kind of pouches or pencil cases. And then one of my favorite flowers is too. Tulips. so of course I had to include this tulip case there as well and last but not least if you want something that you can customize or personalize to your liking and if you want a case that can store a lot of different things and has a bunch of different organized compartments then I have this love letter stationery case tutorial which shows you how to do exactly that it works for storing both stationery or craft supplies the next section is a bit similar we're going to be looking at some pouches and organizers if you love Miffy you'll love this pouch for storing your airpods or headphones if you want something a little bit more crochet, you can turn granny squares into cute pouches. I just recently put a tutorial up for this. We've got a hard drawstring pouch, a bow envelope pouch, and again, a mini case to store your AirPods or headphones. I use the first two mainly for storing my makeup minis and other small trinkets and craft supplies. So it's perfect for when you're on the go and want to carry little mini versions of your makeup or some craft supplies. If you're looking for something with cute animals, then there's these cute wallets. I think that's two cats and a bear, and they're so adorable. And if you haven't already, you need to crochet yourself a leaf sprout to keep your charger wires a little bit more organized. So I know that throughout the academic year, you're going to be making use of a lot of different devices. So you've got your phone, you've got your iPad, your computer, or in my case, my Kindle as well. So having this little leaf sprout can really help to make sure that your wires don't get tangled or they don't get damaged. And there's a basic drawstring pouch, but it's really cute because it has these little flowers at the end. So if you want something plain, but something with a cute little detail, then that's perfect for you. And finally, don't let your desk or your study space get disorganized. Make your academic year a good one. And the first step to doing that is having a clean space where you can easily work and study study in. I have a video with a whole bunch of different organizers. There's a basket and another rectangular basket with some dividers so you can store a bunch of different things in there and there's a pencil holder and some cute drawstring pouches as well as a little heart tray if you want to make something for your jewelry. And once again, you can make these any size that you want. So let's quickly go over some sleeves because I really want to jump into the bags and accessory section part of this video. So I'm just going to read out a quick little list for you. I'm like really uncomfortable. I'm sitting on a stool and I've got this like hard wall behind me. I really need to figure something else out. But okay, let's quickly move into the sleeves. First up, pixel grid sleeves. I'm sure you've seen these all over Pinterest. If you've been following me for a while, I do create a lot of pixel grid tutorials. So if you haven't already, you definitely need to crochet your device a pixel grid sleeve to keep it safe from scratches. The tutorial that I have on this is really in depth, so you can use it to create a sleeve for your iPad, your computer, your digital camera, your Kindle if you have one. So basically any device at all. I use my Snoopy sleeve every day for university to make sure that my MacBook didn't get scratched up in my bag. So if you have other things in your bag but you don't want to have like a specific case for it, crochet yourself one. There's also some sleeves for books. If you're a reader who likes to carry their books with you on the go, you want to take a book with you to school but then again you don't want the cover getting ruined or you don't want anything else to happen to the pages of your book then these are perfect for you. But then again, these can also be customized to fit your notebook or a journal. We've got the tulip book sleeve, the love letter book sleeve, the granny square book sleeve, and some book covers as well. So that's the Emma book cover, the tulip and rose book cover for girls that are a little bit more flowery. And then my favorite one out of all of these, the ribbon heart book cover. It has a gorgeous ribbon spine and a very functional and useful pocket in the front to store your stationery. I wish I thought of this when I was in university because there were some days where I just carry a notebook and a pen and highlighter with me to university, but then I have to take my full bag with me. So imagine how cute it is. You've got your notebook and then in that pocket, you've got your phone, you've got your pen, and that's really all you need. So you can make the cover the same size as your notebook or your book or your journal. And then you can also increase the size of the pocket to store more things if you need to. I have to get up and stretch a little bit. I really need to figure something else out for this seating situation. But in the meantime, I can show you my crochet cardigan. I recently made this and it's so cute. Um, I think on the video someone commented that they're going to be making it as like a cover up for school. So I think that's such a cute idea because I know that it's summer in a lot of places and if you don't have a uniform or if you have like a little bit of a less strict dress code, then you could definitely make this or you could wear it over a full sleeve top. 
So it's just the perfect piece for making any plain outfit look a little bit cuter. I remember that used to be my tagline or the thing that I always used to say. So right now I say, hi, I'm Mahal and I appreciate cute things. But before, I don't know if you remember, tell me if you remember if you've been on my channel for this long. Before I used to say, hi, I'm Mahal and I help you turn everyday objects into something a little bit cuter <laughs> but yeah but then i started making things that didn't really fit that tagline so i had to change it up a little bit all right time for some bags i used this granny square tote bag throughout university i loved it it's so spacious it's so big i can store my macbook in it i've got all my other essentials as well as a sweater because i used to get really really cold in class so i didn't have to carry a sweater on my arm the entire time because it could fit in this tote bag it could also fit in any backpack but if you're looking to crochet something spacious then this tote bag is for you also nothing says i'm a crocheter more than granny squares i feel like that's the most universally recognized crochet piece out there plus if you choose the right color palette then this could definitely turn into a staple piece in your wardrobe and having a crochet granny square bag is a must-have for every crochet there's also this heart granny square tote bag that I think is really cute and I've also got a star granny square tutorial that you can use to create a tote bag out of them too. So if you're someone who just takes a few notebooks and then you're stationary with you to school then tote bags are perfect for you. There's this gingham, am I saying it right? Gingham pattern. So you basically take three colors, so a darker color, a medium color, and then a lighter color and it makes this like gingham texture. Then there's also a checkered tote bag. And then all you have to do is just make them bigger to fit whatever it is you're taking with you to school or university. And then some of the bags that I have on my channel are pretty customizable too. So once again, you can just change the size and make them fit whatever you like. Some of my recommendations are the mesh bag, but I would highly recommend making this with a fabric inner lining inside, otherwise it might stretch. And then of course the popcorn bag. This is one of my favorite bags ever and I think a lot of people on social media like it too because it's definitely one of my most crocheted bags ever. I really like this style of it and how it has like a curved top part so you can definitely customize this into a tote bag. And then of course please don't forget the ribbons. I love the ribbons. And then last but not least a messenger bag. I think they're really cool because they have pockets on the front so it gives you some additional compartments to store your things. I have this tutorial that shows you how to customize the pockets in the front with pixel grids and it also shows you how to make the panels any size that you want. I also came across this genius book sleeve that's also a book bag and it also has a bunch of different additional compartments as well so definitely check that out. I've got hair all over my face. Now for the fun part, let's decorate our bags for school or university. I think this is such a great way to show off your personality and some things that you love. And if you don't want to commit to making a full crochet bag for university or you already have a lot of cases and pouches so you don't want to make more of those, then making cute little small bag charms or some bullets or pouches that you can use as bag charms are perfect for those cute and easy small projects that you want to make for school or university. I've got so many of these on my channel so let me get my list. I'm just going to quickly read them out to you because I don't want to forget any of them. A photo card holder, mini butterflies and stars, a miffy, strawberry cat, and a pair of cute strawberries mini airpods bow case but you can of course customize this to make it larger so i did make this as a case for my digital camera but my cat kind of like scratched it up because he was playing with it so i can't show you right now but i am planning to make another and then i'll show you then heart jam cookie i don't know why more people haven't made this like i love cookies i have a huge sweet tooth and i love hearts hearts and cookies it's in one back charm. There's a cozy bear and it's also really, really squishy because it's like a little ball so you can squish it up as like a little um, stress ball or fidget. And then there are cherries tied into a bow. The cherry one is possibly the easiest back charm that you can make because the cherries are just two small circles and then the bow part is just two chains and then you tie it into a bow. So if you're looking for something really easy, really quick, it doesn't get easier and quicker than that. And then finally, some charms for the fangirls. I've got a red scarf for Taylor Swift, a pink bow for Barbie, and tulips in a pot for Harry Styles. I'm supposed to be going out after this, and I'm really, really late, but I'm just so comfortable right now in my pajamas so I didn't change into my pants yet. I really hate wearing jeans. And that's it for today. Come chat with me in the comments and let me know what you will be crocheting for school or university. I will post another stationary case tutorial very soon, so keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you next time. Bye, and happy crocheting!